Here we will look at using the contour tool to make an offset vector cut line around an object. So first of all to get the contour docker showing you can go to window, dockers, and make sure you select contour and the docker will show up on the right hand side. If I select my graphic and I just go ahead and use the contour tool I will select outside contour so it's outside of the object. I will select a color right now I'm just selecting blue so it shows up for illustrative purposes and a fill of yellow and I'm going to click apply. This certainly is not what I want. There's a step that I need to perform before using the contour tool. So I'll undo this. Now what I'll do is I'll select my object. From the shaping docker I will select boundary and apply. Let me turn this line red so we can see it. Now it has created a boundary around my object. And while I do want to cut my object out the same shape as this ballerina, I want it to be a little bit offset from the ballerina itself. So in the object manager I make sure that the red curve is selected. Again over here I've remained with outside contour, a line of blue and a fill of yellow, and I have it offset by 0.1. I'll click apply and now you can see it's created a blue line that I will turn it into a hairline in just a moment, but when I cut this out it will be offset from the ballerina by just a little bit. Right now the two vector lines are joined, so if I actually click off and I click back over it only selects one item. Hold the shift key down, select both items, go to arrange, break, contour, group, apart, and now there are two separate objects. I can get rid of the inner line and now I just have the outer line which I can turn red to signify a cut line and make it hair line. And now when the ballerina engraves and is cut out, the cut line is offset from the actual engraved portion. And that is using the contour tool. For more information or to sign up for your free trial, visit laserU.com.